Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Although this is no longer Lobotomy Corporation Slay the Spire, today instead we're trying out the other big Slay the Spire mod, Library of Ruinous Slay the Spire. There's like multiple different Ruinous Slay the Spire mods. Um, I don't really know which one I'm using. It's the one that had multiple parts to it though, because I figured it, I just went with the first option basically. Um, Yeah, we've got a lot of options already. We can choose which patron librarian. I mean, I, I think, I assume it's just appearances, but, you know, these these three, you know, probably have their own gimmicks. We'll just do Roland. Random ban sounds like we should just roll with it and make their life simpler, maybe. I don't know. I vaguely tried this out a few years ago, and um, it's very wacky. Click to change librarian in use. Only different appearance do not affect gameplay. Yeah. You just have the starting relic. You can obtain a random page at the end of each combat. You only equip one page. Okay. Simple stuff. And we've got this. So activate this change appearance, which is right click. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can just change appearance. Cool. And then right click, turn this on and off. I mean, we'll turn that on. Just battle can be replaced by guest battles. Sounds funny. Lose starting relic is a bad idea. I'll just take, um, what's my deck like? Should have expected. Yeah. Oh, evade is a mechanic. Evade card, evade any damage. Is that, oh, any damage is that at or below four? Then discard this card. Okay. Very interesting. So they've got evade stuff going on here. Just evades like low thing. That's actually pretty nice for certain things. Card pool. Okay, I see. So this is why it shows the start of the run. So we're going to get cards from these groups. Ujat, our corpse, smiling faces, interesting stuff. Not sure what to do. We'll take a random rare card. Oh, we just straight up got Ujat. Okay. Exhaust your hand, gain two plated armor for each card exhausted. Exhaust. What is plated armor? Is that like gain armor each turn, but then it reduces by one over and you get hit or something? It might be. I feel like I've seen it before. Very interesting to start with the Ujat signature card. Oh, we'll just go left, sure. Emotion displayed above. I remember this part. Yeah, this is weird. Resets at zero at each combat increased by one per card played. When you reach the maximum, you can choose an ego card. Ego card is a strong effects. You only after you use ego can get the next one. You can choose a skill which refund most your emotions. Yeah, so in longer fights we can actually build up emotion level and gain benefits, which is very funny. Rats. Can't auto pop up ego selection or reactive to real mod config. Cool. Okay, that alone did a lot. Maybe we are actually focus. Eh, it's probably better to just be on the safer side with the block. We're still going to take one damage here. These guys are debuffing. Is it bleed? It sure is bleed. Whenever it attack, take one damage. Reduce by two-thirds, third of turn. Okay, so bleed works more similar to erosion, I guess. Oh, we could just ujot. Let's do it for the bit. Get eight plated armor here. Yeah, gain eight block for receiving unlock damage. Reduces plated armor by one. Okay. So, like, here, for example, we're only taking 8 damage, so we're... Oh, no, we're... Oh, bleed, right, forgot about that. Yeah, that's weird. Shh. Means we're going to be taking more damage than expected from some things here and there. That's fine. We've got plenty of shield. We really did not need to ooge at, but it's an interesting idea, especially if we can get something that's super good for drawing a lot of cards. Which feels like the kind of thing we could definitely get. Zulu's page, every three turns gain energy, I assume that is... I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. Perry. Do we have... Okay, we don't have purple tier in this... Oh, this card still appear in this battle. So does it change from now? Whoops. I didn't mean to deselect there. Okay. I didn't grab up anything, did I? And now it's forcing me to skip card. Well, that's fine. I can live with that, I think. Welcome. What can we get? Does restore slash low HP gain strength? Could be nice. Smoking pipe gains smoke. Increases damage received based on the number of smoke stacks. I mean, it's probably bad unless we get a smoke key page. Assumably, that's going to be the bit. Yeah, probably. Scry eleven from structural analysis. Okay. Protectors from drop up to your hand limit or until there are no more attack cards left. 
That seems pretty funny. Oh, you can buy key pages. Oh, we can buy Shylock. Let me just gain one of those. Well, we can't afford it. We can card removal services, get rid of, like, probably a light attack. Yeah. That's usually the play. And then we could grab Pound if we wanted to. Blunt deal for 5 damage. Yeah? Eh, we'll just save. Interesting ideas. I think we're fine. We'll take these events. Okay, I still do have the uh, Limbus event mod on. I uninstalled the Lob Corp one, but the Limbus one that just gives us Limbus events is still here. That's cool. Look at the attack damage you deal is increased by 5. Don't think I've gotten that before. That is very powerful. Green Spear, whenever you play a skill, do 2 damage and random. It's a sure thing. Bunch of random damage increasing stuff. We can just Focus Strike's the big guy to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh god, Focus Strike with Lowest Star already. Okay. Do we want to build her on Lowest Star? It's not the worst idea. If we can dodge you. You're not going to be able to hit us because of... Oh, you just die anyways. I keep on forgetting five more damage. Lulu's friend. I mean, it's just a downgrade, so I'll pass. Whenever you play a card game, unblock Ethereal. Deal 28 damage. Seven damage, two times. Increase attack times. This card by one for each stack of enemies. Paralysis. Okay. That could be funny. Paralysis stuff. Something that the actual game... <laughs> I wasn't expecting to roll into... That's pretty cool. If I, like, were to... I don't remember. It's cause it told me how to change which librarian I was. I don't know how, though. I wonder if it's a different backspray for each of them. would be cool. Change key page. Definitely not. Smith, though, we could upgrade this one. 10 damage. Okay. Paralysis is a funny idea. Ujap becomes a 2 cost, which makes it significantly more usable. I mean, not really, because it's still going to exhaust the entire hand, but... And you wanted to exhaust a bunch of things. I don't know. It really doesn't seem that great. That'd be funny. Who knows? Okay, this guy. Electric Shock. We don't have any other paralysis stuff yet. So currently, we don't get insane benefit from that. But we definitely could. Thanks to the stupidity of Lois Star. Lose Friend page 4 is also just a downgrade. Any paralysis stuff? 5 damage 2 times. That's more multi-hit stuff. 8 damage 2 times. Also, it's 16 block for Metality. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know if I want more high-cost cards, though. I don't think we've, we're going to have the means to deal with that. Innate, so we start out with that. Dexterity is nice. I damage two times to feature less game board block. I kind of just want to take this. I've already committed to the bit, like, so much, I think. But it's because it's going to be funny. Seven damage. and it's decent. Could upgrade Focus Strikes. Can upgrade Ujat, try and make new, so we'll just upgrade Focus Strikes. It seems stupidly good for the stupid build we're going for. I just keep on saying stupid. Snow Queen's Page. Okay, whenever you attack, play one Constricted to target. It's not telling me what that does, so uh, I don't know. Hmm. Play one I Splinter the first attack action each turn at the end of the round. Stun the unit with three I Splinter and remove it. Okay. If you use at most one card in first turn, exhaust your hand to end a turn and play six constraints on you inside them. I'll take Sword of Frost. And, uh. Maybe I should play one constricted. Is it gonna tell me what that does here? No, okay. We're just gonna have to assume that we're fine. We could just ooch at this. Let's do it. Exhaust that entire hand. There's nothing too great here. We'll take some damage if plated armor is goaded. Do we do more damage from... I think we do more damage if we just play both of these than a single focus strikes. Well, then you're dead anyways. Oh, we could have checked what it did there. That's fine. Increase the damage of Pierce cards by three. That's nice. I'll stick with the Zulu, though, I think. Grail Smash Blood Charge. It costs 20 charge to double the damage of this card. Deal 35 damage to all enemies. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Applying Smoke is nice. Gaining Plated Armor is nice. I'll take a zero cost. 
I was saying before, I really want some more low-cost things just so I can make sure I'm fine. Like, this alone just kills that guy immediately. God, we got the vulnerable because we killed that guy, but it's not going to matter. And we can just hit you with a nice light attack. Might as well play the evade. And yeah, very dead. Okay, looking pretty strong so far. Whenever an enemy dies, gain one strength. Honestly, I'll take it. Less HP, but I think we can live with that. We've been taking a fair bit of HP damage. So we need to be a little bit more careful. Sound damage apply to bleed two times. Nine damage two times. Another upbeat performance isn't bad. We'll take it. Upbeat performance is effectively a 20 damage one cost, which is pretty good. Arp just gets more. Upbeat performance just does more damage. Dodge becomes better. That's nice. Mm. You know, actually, I'm going to heal here. We're a little low on HP, and we, we can just upgrade or heal here, depending on how that elite goes. Thievery. We've got a thief among us. Electric shock of your forms just kills you, though. <laughs> Julius Page. Increase attack damage to slash cards by two. Uh, that's good focus strikes. I like the hook office thing, though. I'll, I'll stick with this. Crossing the forge. Eight damage for X times. Okay. I mean, don't mind if I do, right? Don't mind if I do. It's Gremlin Knob. We can just multi-hit him immediately. <laughs> okay, Constrict, end of your turn, take three damage. Okay, that's all of it. It's so bad. <laughs> That's all it does. Okay, I hadn't looked at it beforehand. I was assuming it was going to be at least a little more than that. Gremlin Knob died, though. Horribly. Character Search for Wisdom's page. Or we play a card, discard a random card to gain energy. Actually? I kind of like the idea. When you attack an enemy that's high HP, you heal one HP. That's really nice, too, though. But, like, just discard stuff. This could really benefit having a bunch of high-cost things, right? We'll take Torn Off Wisdom. Why not? Snack oil, that's interesting. We'll take it, I guess. Could get another multi hit. Oh, apply two paralysis. Oh, this is what we're looking for. Ooh. Can we upgrade that to make it like less cost or more more, more paralysis? If press deck increase the effect by one. Decrease the attack damage by three. Effect is reduced by one after attack. Okay. So it only goes away. It goes away by one each time the enemy attacks. We could definitely get some funny stuff going there. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, that's fine. We got a paralysis thing going. You're not attacking this turn, so your paralysis doesn't go down at all either. Okay, you already are going into this form, which is fine. You've got your funny thorns. And now electric shock, 10 times <laughs> damage, 2 times, increases attack times with this card by 1 for each stack of enemies paralysis. So this is going to be... 50 damage by default, 10 times 5, uh, if I'm understanding this correctly. Plus 5 for each of these, though, so it's 15 times 5, yeah. Also, a lot of Constricted, which is nice, I guess. Light attack, sure, play it. And we can just multi-hit, and it's going to do so much here. And... Not quite dead yet, but we kill you here pretty easily. Why oh, just multi-hit? There we go. <laughs> okay, this run's already really stupid. Constant. First damage you deal each turn applies one paralysis. <laughs> oh, you know it. You know it. Smoke bomb. That's a little boring. Whenever you apply paralysis, gain energy. <laughs> We're actually running a paralysis t build. This is insane. You can no longer see enemy intense. Eh, you can no longer rest at rest sites. Elites drop an additional relic. Ooh. That sounds like fun. I've never seen that one before. I assume it's a base game thing, but I don't play this game enough to know. What's something that we can get, like, two elites? We could do something, like, right most, actually, if we wanted to. That's two elites kind of close together. I'd kind of want an earlier elite and then, like, a later elite. Like, maybe, like, we go this pathway? I like that. Oh, Carnival. Remembrance. It ended a turn at 
Any allies dead gain two strength. Wait, this is remembrance. This isn't strength up. This is that's the remembrance status effect. Just so they don't have strength, but they okay. I don't know. Who's the scariest here? I don't know. We're gonna do a bunch of damage to this one though. It's not able to do too much here. We're gonna get hit a little bit, but that's fine. They're healing off their feast, which, yeah, checks out. Focus strikes could do a lot here. Definitely very overkill, but I'd like I like the overkill. Play that. Light defense. Cool. Just block some stuff this turn, right? We need more paralysis stuff to really benefit from charge up, I feel like. Oh, we've got a zap and electric trap. Okay, if we get lucky here, we can do a funny combo. Yes, we can. Excellent. There we go. And then we can just harp you for a little bit more. Uppy performance. Ah, oh, darn, got rid of the other one. That's fine. We'll just ooja at this. Get enough plated armor to resist your attack entirely. And then we can just electric shock. It's already so much. I don't know if I ever want to change this key page. I don't know if there's gonna, if there's gonna be nothing else good for, uh... That's actually pretty good in a bad situation. I'll take that. Okay. Any more paralysis stuff? No, darn. Burn! Lose all the even burn sex to start their turn. Decrease by one each turn. Yeah. As expected. Hmm. Five times, two times. More obvious performances. Not really necessary, I feel like. Okay, I'm, I might just skip these, yeah. Nothing that appeals to me too much. Oh! Salvador and friends. Okay. Hmm. We could try gambling with, like, the... I guess focus strikes? No... Uppy performance. Scarecrow really might be messing us up, but, like, it's funny. Do we want to go all in on... Let's go all in on Yuna. Okay, we do that and get some paralysis to make sure electric shock kills. And then we just get that going. A little bit of shield, so we don't take too much damage. We are getting a bunch of burn, though. Burn special. There's a status effect called Burn. No, it's not a status effect. It's a card in the base game that's called Burn. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think so. Well, uh, that's fine. It's the part where we kill Philip. Sunset Blade, yeah. Multi-hit. Um, we do a little bit. We'll just kill you, yeah. I was considering doing something funny. We'll go for the dodge, and it actually works here, doesn't it? No? Do you not... Wait a second. Do you not play dodges? Is that the bit? You retain for this turn. This card is drawn. Lucky will have to... Okay, when the card is played. Okay, you're, you're not supposed to play them. I only now understood that, huh? Well, that's fine. Get that going, bunch of paralysis on you. Paralysis be upon you. And electric shock. Isadora, no thank you, it's not paralysis. Slash retain. When you attack, deal 7 damage back and discard this card. Interesting. 7 damage, 16. Nah. Nothing that's appealing to me there. Get one of these bag marbles, but one vulnerable to all enemies. So we just do a bunch of damage first turn. Cool. We've had a lot of gold, jeez. <laughs> Lowell's page is just in the shop for $600. Okay. Speed 2. If you lose 6 emotion gain energy at the spur of your turn, that's cool. Speed 1. Okay, so speed stuff works like that. Fair enough. Start his combo with an additional energy. I mean, I'll take it. First turn, funny damage is nice. Copy a random card in your hand into your hand. It's a random, not highest cost. Or I guess highest cost wouldn't be it. necessarily good for you, so... Yeah. Deal 16 damage three times for three. Hmm? Another multi-hit? No. Card removal services. Get rid of Ooch. <laughs> We don't want to chat. Hate to say it, uh, really isn't doing very much of anything for us, that's for sure. 
We need more draw, don't we? Kind of desperately since we're running Torn Off Wisdom. We're kind of just hoping that we don't lose the stuff we don't want to be losing. Arp, Charging Cover, cool. Or if we can get something that benefits us for having energy left at each turn, also would be a nice thing to do. Okay, Glare means that our stuff is randomized. One cost Wrath the Torment, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is such a badly designed EO gift, it's so funny. It's so strong. Sunset Blade. None of this is applying to me. It's not fitting my build, right? That's what matters. Oh, you guys. You guys actually probably have some more paralysis stuff for me, don't you? Give it. Give me your paralysis goodies. Wrath of Torment. I don't even know where the self-paralysis is coming from. Oh, no, these guys have the passive. That's right. Yeah. Psst, psst. Oh, no. Psst, psst. Uh. Hmm? Do they not have the... I guess it just isn't showing it here, right? Because it's not a status effect. But yeah. Because Alec is the thing that inflicts one paralysis to the enemy at the start of the fight. Well, this still does a lot of damage. We try killing Bono, probably? Cool, and by try, I mean succeed without really trying that hard. Yeah, we do a little bit of damage with our attacks. Opportunity spotted, yeah. Not surprising. We can. We don't need to zap you. We'll focus strike Alec. Oh, I didn't think that through. Well, that's fine. We actually dodge all this stuff. Oh, we just... I didn't think about it. That's fine. You're not doing anything here, and we can just kill you. We're taking a lot of damage, though. That's for sure. Um, probably should be a little bit more careful that we do not need another snack oil. Boundary of Death! Increase the damage by one for each one health lost. Hmm. Ooh, draw two cards, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very interesting first run, that's for sure. Do we heal up here? That's Well, the question is, do we have any good upgrades we can go for? More damage. Charge up being free. Ooh. I should have healed. We're about to go into an elite. And we're about to do another elite shortly after that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, can we kill this guy this turn? Answer is a pretty resounding no, I want to say. Yeah. It's not quite be enough. We can get close to killing that guy. That's cool, at least. We're going to die due to our own greed, almost certainly, here. That guy died to something. Hmm. Don't know what. We can just kill this guy. Hmm. Well, you die at the end of your turn from Constricted, but we die first. You know, that was a funny run, but, like, it's very hard to tell what's going on with this mod. That's for sure. It's very fun, though. I was definitely doing a very stupid build there. Paralysis is not supported, like, at all in Ruin either, so it definitely fits, but... Very funny thing. I do think that'll be all for this time, though. I'm kind of busy today, so I can't. don't really think I've got the time to do another run. Just moved into my dorm. Or moved back into my dorm, because college starts for me tomorrow. <laughs> but anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!